Yes, we are here at the Piedras Mercadas Dam and City Park. Now this name may sound familiar from our hike a few videos ago. That was a canyon and this is a park. I thought they were in the same area, uh, but they're pretty far apart. Must be a large, large area. But I thought we'd come here today and just kind of look around and maybe go for a little hike back in the mesa there. See what she looks like. Let's go. First thing you see is a whole bunch of nice uh, playground equipment. It's nice. And a ton of lava rocks. Look at these. There's tons of them. There's so many that they use them for kind of a little retainer wall. A little fencing area. A Mavka Rainfall and Recreation Protecting Life and Property since 1963. Very cool. Very cool. Now I love these little picnic areas. It's really nice for a, a bit of a rainy day or very hot day. I didn't think there was a way to get through there, but I guess right there, someone may have moved a rock. And there's a little entrance right there. So we'll head down this way. Just to explore. Woo! That stupid hill made me run. <laughs> what the heck? There's like a road or a trail that goes this way. Heck of a view. You can see the mountains all the way around. Well, let's go back down and walk through the woods. Ah, oh, this is pretty nice. Now, the... Uh, last park that I showed a few videos ago one of my favorite parks uh, Mariposa that's called Basin too but this one actually makes more sense by a dam and a place to capture the water but it'd be nice if they had some more amenities But it's pretty nice. Cottonwoods, kind of like down in the Bosque, but up here on the Mesa. Very interesting. I feel like I'm out in the country. Now here's a little offshoot uh, from the main trail here, main road. Looks pretty fun. What a great place for kids to play. I would have loved this when I was a kid. In fact, looks like someone's made a little, a little fort here. Pretty cool. Anybody in there? Well, they got a little entrance. Good job, kids. I am assuming it's kids. <laughs> so, oh gosh. A little muddy back here. Pretty neat. Walking through the woods.
I think we'll take left. You know what? I just saw some sandhill cranes in the back there. Get all excited when I capture them. I, I don't know how close we can get without scaring them off. Another little trail through the woods there. Maybe we'll check that out. A great view of the mountains. Now, if you have a real keen eye, you can probably see uh, some balloons there. On the way out here, I saw a whole bunch, like 50, 60 or more. Must be having some kind of mini uh, balloon fiesta or something. I didn't hear about that. I wish I would have known. I love the balloons. There's another patch of woods over there I want to go to. I really like to sneak up on these cranes here, get a closer look, but I think they can be pretty skittish. So we'll go back to the main trail and see if we can sneak back there. Oh, here's a few more over here. You know, I have never gotten a picture of a sandhill crane up close all the times that I've seen them. I'm usually a pretty good quiet stalker, but there's some leaves out here I gotta be real careful with. The other guys are over there. All it takes is one to get spooked and fly away and they all probably go. guy out there by himself. You can hear him. They, uh, like I've said before, they sound like a mix between a goose and a turkey. Kind of a gobble gobble, but a kind of a squawk. Oh, these leaves are going to give me away. Hey, there's a couple ducks down in there too hanging out with the cranes. Oh. Probably warning that someone's coming. Come on guys, I'm not gonna hurt you. Kind of interesting here. Those little holes that kind of shoot up a little bit. They're just enjoying the day with the family. Looking for things to eat. Looking for some water. Just enjoying the day. I don't want to disturb you guys, but I think you're absolutely beautiful. It almost sounds like that. Uh, have you heard of the shoebill? I think it's called the shoebill pelican. Look it up. It's the scariest looking bird. It's a really tall bird with a very thick bill. And uh, he clamps it together and it sounds like a machine gun. Does it real fast really loud that's pretty freaky kind of sounds like that in a way ah fork in the road i'm curious what that little building over there is it's another filter drain i guess let's walk way the heck over there and check it out up close 
see a lot of dog prints. Looks like some kind of monolith, if that's the correct word. Pretty interesting. Oh, it's real muddy up against there. Oh, this is where they measure the fill, the rainfall. Wow. It would be cool to come here and check out how high that's gotten after a big old rain, but that's just hard to imagine being that, that much water in here. Wow. Well, I gotta say it. I know I stole it from Larry David's uh, show called uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm, but I've gotta say it. When I'm fairly impressed with something, I like to say, and of course, of course he says good, but I say pretty, 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 pretty cool. Bye, cranes. Thanks for letting me get a shot of you. Not as close as I wanted, but I understand. Well, we've come full circle back to where we were. That was a fun, nice little walk. Nice, brisk walk on an early morning. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over. <laughs>